All right. There's a big energy out here of you letting go of control and allowing a situation to unfold naturally. And it's just like you trusting in spirit, okay? In the pre-shuffle, the Hierophant card came out. Taurus energy. You could have some Taurus in your chart. You don't have to. But this, this Hierophant card in this deck really reminds me of the Star card. It's like you're standing at this gateway asking for something that's really already headed towards you from what I can tell here. But it's like... Either you're lacking some form of patience about it because uh, what also came out in the pre-shuffle was you deserve love. You are lovable, but it came out in reverse with let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally here. So this could just really be energy of you just feeling like bummed out when it comes to love, like whoever you're meeting, maybe it's not working out. Some of you guys are asking for a new love or you're asking for a stable connection and, you know, something serious, okay? Something that is um, traditional, right, with this terrifying energy here. You know, and I think you've played, prayed and prayed and asked for it. Now it's just time for you to detach and just have faith that that's going to come in. And I feel like that's where this surrendering energy and you just letting go of control and just letting things happen naturally comes in for you. But here's the kicker to this. Let your friends help you and ask for and accept help and support from other people and just like go have fun and enjoy your life is here. Literally playfulness and let your friends help you is also out here. Okay, if you guys can see this energy, there you go. So, you know, is now might just be a good time for you to focus on having fun. You know, you may even be in for some of you might be introduced to someone through a friend of a friend. Okay, they they may want to help you or you know they might be encouraging you to get out more it's time for you to do that okay don't focus so much on like the goal of finding a partner now if you're not focusing on the goal of finding a partner you guys this is, could be the energy that you're already in you're like you know what i give up i'm just gonna go have fun and just forget it I'm surrendering. I'm just going to trust and detach from something here. There's something unexpected coming in for you. Some of you guys could have experienced like tower moments when it comes to love in the past. You had an awful breakup with somebody here in the recent past. It looks like an unexpected change in your life for some of you guys. Like you weren't expecting this breakup or you weren't you were expecting for the connection to go a little bit differently than it did but here's the deal with the destruction energy which is like the tower energy you could have scorpio in your chart here with this energy but the thing is with this energy is there's something new coming a lot of you guys are really focused on work stability um your career you have you have potential to do whatever it is that you really are setting your mind to here and this is what you guys have have decided to focus on you know if you have a business here, some of you guys, you have somebody watching you from afar and they're fascinated and curious with your energy here. I wonder who that is. Could be somebody new. Let's, let's get more energy out here. What else for these singles, please? Yeah, you got an offer coming in. And it's happening in divine timing, okay? This offer is coming in in divine timing here, all right? <sighs> Patience, perseverance, peace. Trust that the divine knows when is the right time. And I know we talk about this divine timing thing all the time, okay? So let me, the masculine energy just came out. You guys, you have an offer coming towards you. Somebody wants to take you out on a date, but you know what's so crazy? You may meet somebody at a wedding, at a party, at a friend's party or a friend's wedding or some form of like a friend's celebration, some form of celebration. This is weird because there are two cards out here. The engagement card is here and the offer card is here. And like, that's a wedding. And we're doing a singles reading right now. So this is definitely something um, 
that's either a coming towards you that's going to be a higher level of commitment show me this masculine energy here Okay. There's a, a divine masculine in your energy who is lied to you in the past that can't let go of you or you can't let go of them. This person's still attached to you and they miss you with this Six of Cups energy here. Okay, memories. And then we have deception, mask, illusion, look beyond the superficial. That's what's going on with this masculine. You got a masculine that's at a crossroads, two of swords energy, two of wands energy, but this masculine does not know what decision they want to make. This masculine doesn't even really know if they can have anything serious with you. They're confused right now. There's a confused masculine that just, you know, yeah, right now. They know they miss you, but it doesn't look like they're ready for more, okay? I don't think this is you holding on to this person. Could be. Okay. Just apply it where it fits. So show me what else is coming towards the collective when it comes to love. My singles, please. The world card. The seven of wands, the page of pentacles, and the world. All right. You could be a fixed sign, a Leo, a Taurus, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius here. Seven of Wands is like, you're like, get back. You're protecting your peace. Somewhere here, there's something that's over. Okay. There's something that's over here with this world card. Somebody's blocking. This could be you blocking a masculine from the past coming back to offer something here. There could be a younger earth sign here with this page of pentacles. But this is you like, get back. I'm not, no, I don't want it. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. It looks like, get back, I don't want it. But this masculine is missing you. This energy keeps coming out, five of pentacles. They really miss you. And they want to reunite. Five of pentacles. But the thing is, this person is confused about what it is that they can actually offer you long, offer you something long term. They're not sure if they're going to be able to do that. King of Cups. This person could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. They're definitely emotional and thinking about offering, giving something to you, right? But this person is probably moving slow because this Page of Pentacles energy, you guys, is energy of like the slowest moving page in the deck, right? They're not, this page is still looking at this pinnacle, which is this offer. Remember, we already saw the energy of an offer out here. For some of y'all, could be new and old, could be this person that wants to bring this offer to you. But the thing is, is they're sitting here wasting time contemplating what they're going to do because they're so confused. Should I offer this? Shouldn't I offer that? I don't, you know. Ace of Cups just came out with the Six of Wands. Ace of Cups here. This person wants to reconcile with you, Four of Cups, but they're afraid they're going to be rejected. They want to talk to you. Page of Wands, another page. Definitely, they want some attention from you. But again, they're still in this unsure, un unstable energy with this Two of Pentacles. They're contemplating, weighing their options, trying to figure something out here. This is this is this King of Cups. This King of Cups wants to, yeah. They're doing a lot of meditation. See, in this in this deck here, this Four of Cups, there, there's somebody here sitting Indian style, meditating, thinking about this. This cup has wing, angel wings on it. This person has their eyes closed and they're meditating. It's a peaceful state, seems like, you know, seems like this person is in a, they, you know, they could be thinking about you all the time, but they definitely want to want to talk with you. Spirit could be blocking this person from coming back towards you also, too, with this Seven of Wands falling underneath this Ace of Cups until this person gets it together.
Because you're not going to take the wishy-washy energy. You want somebody who's sure about, about what they want from you. Why is this King of Cups here? Yeah, it's over. Scorpio energy here with the death card. This masculine feels like it's over. But again, we saw that 